Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. 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 The third in a row. We came back and we came back strong at the start. Who's all in here right now? I see a few of you. Oh, Oprah of Props was in the chat early. A uh, thank you, madame. Justin, happy Thursday. Is Nikki here? Is Nico here? <coughs> Um, who's the usuals that have joined? Oh, we've got Oprah's props down there. Love it. Thank you, sweet angel. We're painting a panda today for multiple reasons. I did it at first on my Instagram. Um, I did it for our Pinovate adult class that I've been teaching. Shout out to you ladies who are going to be watching this on YouTube at that time. Um, we did a panda one class. And an hour and a half is not a lot of time to get it done. So some ladies wanted a little bit extra time. Um, so I thought, hey, I might as well do it as a paint night. And then a bunch of people messaged me on Instagram when I posted the time lapse for this little panda. Uh, so I was like, let's do it. The time is now. We'll put it on YouTube. It'll be there forever. Um, I think he's easy peasy. I've learned that when I'm doing like paint nights uh, in person, I do them more digitally than in person um, I paint them from the side right so like I'd have like the painting here and I like wait well you see me good and I'm like looking at the side so the picture always gets like so skewed <laughs> it's like leaning the bears just like wah, wonky across the whole thing so it's nice that I'm looking straight at the painting uh, so it won't be as wonky and weird for y'all at home Dresden coming on in with the point evening peanut gallery. Thank you for joining you sweet little angels Good to see ya. I'm not gonna be here next Thursday you guys. I'm gonna say that quick first. I Think we're gonna do it once every two weeks. That's probably where we're gonna go with paint nights, but I'll always post about it We'll have fun today. We'll figure that out later. We don't have to talk about that um, Yeah, we're just made a panda I'm spoiling you. I know. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm just, time is flying. And I think I'm still just, like, burnt out. And I haven't, like, unburnt it out. But I still have many things to do. Um, so time's just flying. So I'm just trying to get a better hand on things. My music's a little crazy. Um, before I start committing to a weekly 
event. Because honestly, I feel like I blink and it's Thursday again. It's like, what's happening? I've got nothing done. <laughs> so, <laughs> it happens. It happens to the best of us. What can you do? Um, uh, let's just get into it. Okay, we'll just get into it today. Uh, I'll go over my rules quick and painlessly. Maybe I don't have to do it anymore. I don't know. We'll see. Some people are finding us on YouTube. I always just assume everyone who watches it on YouTube um, has already followed me on Instagram, but actually it's the other way around, which is kind of cool. So all you new YouTubies, um, studio rules. I like to do this because we don't really, it's not very tough around here. Okay, it's cash. Um, number one, I am not a trained teacher, okay? I'm just an artist who painted my whole life. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Shh, we're just gonna ignore it. <laughs> Um, that's a common occurrence. Uh, I'm not a trained teacher. I've just painted my whole life. And now I've just become this Bob Ross of the internet for all y'all for the last year and a bit. Um, so if you think I explained something weird or I'm talking too fast or you need me to re-explain something, whatever, please don't be scared to ask. It helps me learn how to teach better. It helps people watching in the future. It helps you in the moment, okay? So don't feel scared to uh, tell me if I'm wilding out a little bit. I'll never be offended. Um, number two is some people like to start with a pencil or a watercolor pencil or whatever. Um, I always teach with a brush and paint, but if you're more comfortable with a pencil, go for it. I'll never stop you from doing your own thing, okay? Uh, number three is don't treat your painting too precious, especially you adults out there. I know already you have a picture in your mind or you already think you're going to mess it up and you're not going to have fun. Little RCD, hey oh, good to see you. Um, uh, yeah, my precious, says Nico in the comments. No, you guys, you don't treat it too precious. You, The more beautiful things in art happen when you just let yourself make mistakes and see what happens which brings us to number four trust the process okay you trust that in the end it's all going to turn out we're using acrylic paint it usually some people's paint quality is a little lesser than others but you can usually cover up any mistake you make okay any mistake you make um oh my god <laughs> yeah give the sign a point trust the process okay it's obviously important that it is ingrained in a neon sign okay uh, number five, water is your friend. We're using acrylic paint. It's water-based paint. Water will help us in a lot of things if your paint's being weird. And number six, let's just have fun, you guys, okay? Just a good hour and a half, two hours of just hanging out and making a painting and no expectations, seeing what happens, right? At the end, it's fun to see all the ones that everyone did. Um, we'll see how many people are painting today. There's only a few, it looks like. Nico streaming today. The odds are ever in your favor. Ever in your favor. Nikki's painting. Oh, we're gonna have some cutie pandas. I love it. So when we did this painting uh, with my adult class, it's an eight week class. So one of the classes before we did this little panda, we just did like an abstract background. We just did like technique. We splattered. We dripped we splotted we used different tools different mediums just to like try them all out and then a couple weeks later we came back and we painted this panda on top of that crazy cool textured background so obviously we're starting with a white background a little different here um but we will um ad lib the background at the end okay there's nothing wrong with that Unless you're an artist out there who has like an abstract painting that they just don't have anything to do with. Oh, you could paint this panda on top if you want. Oprah is sharing my broadcast. Oh, my Lanta. Thank you. I know I'm coming back, so it's a slow return. I'm so bad at like promoting things. Guys, I'm not good at the internet. <laughs> okay. I just forgot to tell a bunch of you that this is happening. But, all right. 10 minutes later, let's do it. Justin, share my broadcast, you loners. Okay, we are going to paint a cutie little panda. Even just to get some of you less stressed, and uh, maybe this side. I drew out all the circle shapes that we're gonna draw to make this panda. Look, we just got like an egg and some circles. That's all we've gotta do, and we've got a panda. And we're laughing, okay? So don't stress out, take a deep breath, take out your pencils if you want to. Cutie! Oh no, 
gosh, I did say cutie. Dresden, you're bringing it back quick, and I like it. We're just doing little eggs and little beans. So if you're using a pencil, cool, grab your pencil. If you are using paint, we've got a couple options. You can take out your black, but I'm a colorful gal, and I think we're just going to do the base in a different color for now, okay? So I'm going to take out blue. I'm going to take out a light blue. It's called light blue permanent if you care. Oh, blinded by the light. Again, it's, you're just going to have to trust me again. Um, I'm just going to use blue to do my outline of my little panda bear, okay? And remember that if you're using paint like me, this is still just an underdrawing. It's just like the people using pencils. This is just our base drawing, rough draft. We're going to be putting color on top of it. Don't worry about it. Dresden, we do have lessons in bean science. These are our little beans. We're just gonna do a bunch of beans. Okay, if you're doing a painting, you're gonna grab a paintbrush that's pointed. It can be this size. It can be like tiny, even if you want. It can be like small. It can even be like way smaller. If you want it to be. Up to you. I'm gonna go this size, because I want to get a little bit on there, but some, depending on size, right? This is a 12 by 60 inch canvas, but there's some people who work very small. Nico, I'm looking at you, um, and prefer it that way. I think small is hard. I think it's hard to draw small. So I'm gonna use this medium size paintbrush. I'm gonna dip it in my water dish you see over here in my water dish. I'm scooping up water onto my palette right beside my blue till I get this nice, chocolate milky consistency of paint okay so right I'm grabbing little touches of the blue paint and I'm mixing it in that water remember this can be black too if you want it doesn't have to be blue you don't have to be colorful if you don't want to but we're making that little chocolate milky pile on the side sounds gross and we are going to look at our canvas here and we're gonna first imagine this panda being in it right? He's roughly going to have to fit in this size. Ooh, it's going to be weird for you guys to see it. So just, it helps when you preemptively look at the canvas instead of just like making this huge circle for his head. Imagine where he's going to be so you kind of have a better idea of the size of his head. And we're just going to draw a circle, okay? Can you see? Okay, get it to show up. Doo, doo, doo. And look, it's okay that it's rough. I say the same thing every time. It's like borderline impossible to draw a circle perfect in one go. And this is our rough drawing, so it doesn't matter. We know that it's going to be covered up anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to bring it a little bit closer so you can... Oh my goodness, why is it just... It will never... <laughs> You'll never be able to see it close. I just wanted you guys to see that it's not a good circle. Maybe here. Look at that. See? I went around a couple of times, it's messy, whatever, okay? So we've got a circle, it's a head, easy peasy. Now let's get a good old egg in there instead. Oh, which way am I supposed to go? This way, okay, ready? We're gonna go about in the middle of this circle, like imagine that's the middle, right? And we're going to draw a big old egg for his big old body. Shwoop. What did Justin just say? I heard about this panda who lost his dinner. He was bamboozled. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, but when you said bamboozled, my brain just goes right to... Um, 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 there's this game you can get on Switch called Boomerang Foo. I highly recommend 10 out of 10 to play with other people. And you can get bamboozled in it. Bamboozled. That means you just like are your directions are off. Instead of going left, you go right. Just a good old bamboozled. Uh, Jedi, my head made it to the live. Loved. Oh, you're the one on TikTok, right? Love to hear that you're coming. I mean, that you made it today. Welcome to the fam. There are more than a few people who, once they, they're hooked on the lives, join the club. Join the club. 
I've missed y'all. I know I just said I'm like, oh, I'm not coming back next week. <laughs> but <laughs> don't worry, okay? We'll have paint nights aplenty still. Oh, and Darren was saying you can get Boomerang Foo on PS5 as well. And I know that Darren's jumping in because we love that's we love it. We love the game. It's so fun. All right, so do we got an egg in a circle? Already, Freddy's. Wow, this song is wild. Get out of here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, boomerang foo. It's fun to play with a lot of people. Obviously, you have a boomerang, and you. I won't get into it, but it's fun. All right, so we've got a circle. We've got an oval. Now let's get those big old cutie arms going. So I can be super, super, remember, like, super simple. We can break it down into as many shapes as we need to. So instead, I mean, but I think I'm going to push it a little bit further for you guys today, okay? So instead of doing, like, a bean and a bean to get the curved arm, we're going to try to just draw the curved arm. Okay, are you guys ready for that? We're going to go right to where his head meets this little oval. And we're going to bring the line on down until we get about halfway. And we're just going to curve the line. Just a little curvy. I believe in you guys. We're going to grow from a little bit. We're going to grow up a little bit. From the simplest of shapes. Instead of doing two shapes, we're just going to make a little old curve. And curve it on back. We're just going to make a macaroni. Macaroni? Macaroni noodle. How's that? How's that? How's that? Right on the picture up here, I made it just... Oh, where am I looking? It was just two circles, and then we'd have to, again, draw another circle. Oh, oh, where's the camera? Like that. But instead of doing that, we just ad-libbed. We imagined those shapes happening. Is that with three O's? Oh, heck yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe four. Maybe four O's. Right? Uh, there's his little curvy arm. How do we feel about not doing two shapes and just going crazy with the one shape? And then from that side, we got to go on his other side. And instead of matching up, remember how right here we kind of came outside of this big egg body? We're staying inside the egg body. All right, so we still have this curve, but we're coming on into his egg body and just giving him a little bit smaller of an arm. But it's basically the shame as the other side, we just made it a little bit smaller. And see how this one comes down a little bit lower? This one's a little higher and a little smaller. And it is inside the original egg that we drew for his body. <laughs> Did you know? When panda bears rob banks, they always wear a pandana. <laughs> What even is that? I can't even see what that prop is. Crickets. <laughs> you gave yourself crickets. <laughs> I love that. Um, is that a forced perspective? Asked Dresden, asking for a friend. A thousand and ten percent. I Perspective is something that takes a long time to like understand and learn. And I always just teach you guys cheapy quick ways of solving the problem one day maybe i'll do an extended course for people but i just teach you how to look off of a reference photo while like at art college we were taught like how perspective worked and everything and why but i'm just going to teach you how to look at a photo and replicate it it's easier right all right so we've got two little arms and now we've got a little chicken wing of a leg to do for his cute little bottom leg. Actually, I lied to you. First, we're going to do this other side of his leg. So we've got his original egg body. We're going to come on the outside of it, right? If we look at that picture down there. You can still kind of... Oh, I was going <laughs> to... 
I was just going to point at the screen. You can't see that. Um, you uh, can see the original circle. If you look at his little belly where that white line is, is this that we've already drawn. So his leg has to come right on outside. Right? Another egg. All right, we've got his little arm. We've got a little leg. And then his foot is just another little bean. I'm telling you, he's just a bunch of little shapes. How are we feeling? I love how cute and chubby he is. We might even make him a little bit chubbier on purpose. Okay, now let's move on to his chicken wing leg that we were talking about. And again, if we look at our reference photo, we can see that it's going to come outside of his original belly a little bit, and it's going to touch this top arm that we've already drawn, right? So let's start by just going right. If you look at the picture, you can see there's almost like a white triangle. If you look at what's left, if you look from his arm and his leg, there's like a white triangle right here, right? In this picture down here. Do you see that? Do you see that? So we want to kind of create that. So we're going to start right here to make that little chicken leg. All right? We're coming on out with a cute little C. Whoop, coming lower than his belly. And then let's bring it on up to make it that little chicken wing, right? So it's bigger on the outside and it comes on down. Oops. And finishes off there. All right, looks like a little chicken wing. Mine's a little chubby. That's cute. People are just roasting Justin's panda jokes in the comments. Love it. <laughs> There's gotta be some more cuties. Some more cute panda jokes. Hey Siri, tell me a joke about a panda. She doesn't understand and that's rude. We've got that chicken leg. And now we're just gonna attach from his elbow on down to his leg to make that little chubby body, right? See, you can still see our original circle, but we brought it out to the left a little touch to make him just cute and chubby. He has a little like paunch. <laughs> Is paunch the right word? I don't know. You can make his little poof down there. All right, our panda's coming to life. Justin, giving me those cutie props. Cutie hasn't left my, um, cutie hasn't left my vocabulary, that's for sure. I'm gonna try one more place to ask for a panda joke. Do not shame him for liking the treats. <laughs> Do not shame him. Hey, I'll take the pun and the prop. Love that. Justin is on fire right now, you guys. Look at it. Tell me a joke about a panda. How do you scare a panda? With some bam. Did you guys hear that? How do you scare a panda? With some bamboo! Justin. Alexa just outdid you in the jokes. Okay, let's come on up to the top of our panda bear and get back to his little face. So if we look at our reference photo again too, we can see that his face is kind of more of an angle. It's not straight. He's kind of like licking. This looks better. Looking like this a little bit. So when we draw his first ear, we're going to go a little bit higher up on this left side. And again, it's just a circle. Right? And it's, since it's not perfectly straight, it's on a little bit of an angle, we're gonna bring his ear over a little bit. And it can be a little bit smaller too. 
Alright, we got two little Mickey Mouse ears on our cutie. My lips are chapped. I thought I had a lip chap over here. Okay, and now we've got this guy set up. We are going to start his little face. And since we did this big old oval in the middle, it's already kind of helping us lay out where his face goes. So see, I'm drawing that circle just right in that oval where it intersects, intersects, intersects with his face. We're making that like snout. Okay, and then we're gonna lay out his cute little dark eye spots and again We're gonna make them go around the shape of this circle that we just drew right so Since he's going a little bit to the side imagine his face is angled. It's not straight up like a line straight through his head It's again at a little bit of an angle So we're gonna start this one on a little bit over and it's a bean, but instead of making it a full bean, we're going to stop it at this circle. See how it keeps... Oh, I made it huge. Maybe don't make it that big. Maybe make it like this big. I'll try to erase the spot that I did there. But do you see what I mean about how it goes around? Yeah, just nothing to see here. Oops. See how instead of making it a full bean, we made it a bean that kind of goes around the circle? Not kinda, it does. It uses the shape of that circle that we drew. And then same for the other side, but again, since he's looking to the side a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit further over and a little bit smaller. But same thing, it's got the curve around that circle that we made his snout out of. All right, do we see it coming together? And then let's go about in the mid, maybe a little bit lower than the center of our, so if this is the top of the circle, bloop, we're going to go a little bit lower than center and you're just going to make a line for his nose. That's the top of his nose. All right. So a couple of kidney beans, got it. Yeah, basically. Just do a couple little kidney beans. All right, well, we can, you can make this a triangle if you want to see like where his nose will go. Little cutie. But again, it's supposed to be a little bit over. That's okay, we'll figure that out after. Okay, we've basically got almost everything that we want to have laid out before you pencilers come to paint. Except for his cute little chest, I forgot. He's basically got a heart in his chest. So we're going to do just that. We're going to come up around his arm here and make a cute, oops. Remember that it's not in the center. We want to go a little bit over. So if it's not right and perfectly in the middle, it's over a little tiny bit. Oh my goodness, Cinderella. It's been so long. Welcome back. Look at all of these regulars today do you have your paints out are you ready can you catch up do you think oh we missed you too are you painting today or are you just hanging out hanging out is cool too we've got some peanut gallery folks today I'm not even close to ready, but I'll try to get my shoes together. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We don't need too many colors today. Black and white and whatever other color you want to use. Okay, we'll just add a couple. Like, from his little nose that we made, let's make a couple more lines. Yours has more of a bear feel to it. Well, that's... Well, he's a bear. What do you mean? Do you think color will help it? I feel like you paint this bear, if you paint that guy brown, he would look like a bear, wouldn't he? 
just a normal grizzly bear. Okay. We don't have to worry really about his mouth because we're going to color over, over that. Um, but... I think we're kind of ready to start painting. We'll do one other little thing. Just quick, quick, quick. Here we go, here we go, here we go. To make his ears a little different. So see how we have the full circle, right? We're going to come to his head and draw just a line up the side. So see how it was a circle? It still is a circle. But coming from his head, we're going to make that line a little bit thicker so it's not as rounded. Do you see what I did there? From his head, we pulled it on up and down. And then you can just attach it to his head at the bottom. For Cinderella, I guess the time, we did do a new time. What time is it right now? I did it, I'm doing it an hour earlier. And you're in BC, so even, maybe the time doesn't work for you as well. Okay. Everybody. Cinderella, take a picture of this. Take a picture of the shapes quick before we start filling her in. I'm just being touchy at the moment. Okay. All you, you got it? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, everybody, let's put your pencils down. Let's grab your paint brushes. If you're painting along with me, awesome. We want to get a colored... That's not what I want to say. I was, I was getting ahead of myself. We want to get a bigger brush so we can color in the shapes that we just laid out, right? It can be like a bigger rounded one. It can be square. It also doesn't even have to be this big. Like maybe it would... Be a little bit smaller but I would just suggest bigger than whatever you're like outlining with right now something bigger okay and then we're just gonna have to get black and white out onto our palettes I'm gonna like yeah. <laughs> I like to have the color that I did on the bottom kind of peek through a little bit through on the um, final painting some people don't like that. That's okay. Color over it. Who cares? I just think it's fun to add color into paintings where it usually doesn't belong because you're painting. There's no rules. Who cares? Why not throw a bunch of color around? Am I right? Am I right? Okay. So... We're gonna start with black paint and it's gonna be easy peasy. We're not gonna do that little chocolate milky consistency that we were talking about before because we want thick old paint. We want it to go, we want it to f go textured thick on top. We can make some fur with some of the texture of the paint. We want it to cover up stuff. So we don't want that chocolate milky consistency. I'm gonna get paint all over me. <sighs> okay. You wanna get your paintbrush wet because it helps for it to be wet. But again, you're not bringing water over to your palette or anything. I'm going into the black and just kind of mixing my brush around in it a little bit to fill up a bunch of uh, paint onto my bristles. I don't know why I'm forgetting how to speak today. And we're gonna start with his little chicken leg. And I'm just slobbing on this black paint. And I like to be conscious of my brush strokes, so like I'm kind of only going like left to right or in the shape of this leg. You can go up and down, whatever, if you want to. Um, but sometimes making them go in the right direction can kind of like help you um, create that thought just went up my head um, help you create some textures that will imply fur and imply the direction they're supposed to go without you having to paint that detail so that's nice so I'm just gonna fill that in with black same with his upper body 
we're just gonna fill it in with black. We are gonna be going in with um, a different layers, like a little bit more lighter gray um, to show some depth within those uh, arms and limbs that we're filling in. But for now, easy peasy, just fill them in black. And we're gonna leave that circle that was his head. So Dresden just checked. Schlob, Tatesky's definition of schlob is still number one definition on uh, Urban Dictionary. So, mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> My PR manager is pissed about it, obviously. <laughs> I'm reinventing the word. A method of smearing paint, Tatesky's preferred technique of throwing paint at a canvas. Schlobbin. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I need to make like a sweater with the drippy, like the drippy Tatesky and trust the process that we made, but just say, make it say schlob and it's all glittery. <laughs> Definitely a fan of the schlob comes in Lisa. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Lisa. Justin, stop freaking out. Everyone else is down for it but you. I don't know what you want for me. Remember everybody that the drawing that you did at the bottom, it's not set in stone. Like if you want to maybe like bring out his elbow a little bit more on the right here, go for it. Who cares? Like if you want to make him even chubbier, go for it. Um, these lines are just there to help remind you where stuff goes. If you want to make it smaller or bigger, nothing's stopping you. Stop being uncool, Justin, <laughs> says Cinderella. Right? The momager is not a fan. No, Kenzie's not a fan of it either. <laughs> so funny. Okay. How's that? We've got legs, we've got arms. We're gonna go in and just fill that kidney bean of an eye hole, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. There we go. I'm just lounging today. I'm pretty far away from the canvas here. Can't see. Be cool. Don't be like all uncool. I'm just saying. Just be cool. How's that? We've got a kidney bean. We've got a kidney bean. And let's fill in those cutie ears of his. Nico, I'm still curious what you mean by yours looks more like bear-like. I'm curious. Oh my gosh, right, you're watching live so you can see it. Oh my gosh, just interception. Live interceptions. And here's his cute little, and Oprah props is seeing it too. All right, all right, all right, here's a panda. And if you want, you can put his nose in. Remember, we want it to be a little bit more to the right than in the center. I'm using a little bit too big of a brush, but what can you do? Filling that little nose and it looks like our panda is coming to life. I made mine a little lumpy on the side. I like him like that. But we are gonna go in with a little bit of gray now. I'm gonna go one step lower, like a little bit smaller of a brush. So I'm gonna go to something like, like 
this or like this or like that maybe maybe that one and I'm gonna start by grabbing a bunch of white and a little bit of black I'm gonna mix them together and again some people I mix my paints with my brush I have a teacher at art school like in college that would hate <laughs> To watch me do this and that I'm teaching you guys to do it too um, feel free to use a palette knife if, if you rather mix your paints that way I personally like that they don't get perfectly mixed and that they get in your brush and you get some little white chunks and stuff like I like that personally um, so I don't complain about that but some people don't like that and that's totally fine too um, that just means you won't mix it with your brush you just mix it with like something else plastic knife works too all right, so we are going to be painting dark to light, right? We just put down the darkest, darkest color that you could get. And now we're going to go a step lighter, right? We've made this gray here. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Know that the, pa the color on your palette is going to dry a little bit darker on your canvas. And we're going to start first by just kind of roughly, like I'm just roughly slobbing it on, you guys. Slobbing it on in the corners so right we've got see how it's just kind of roughly brushed on there and same around these edges too like i'm looking at my reference photo and i'm seeing where it gets a little bit more shadowed um which is kind of like down here a little bit in his little arm on the side hello daryl great new look oh, thank you you know the people that are responsible for this beautiful new layout. And again, we're painting white over top of this at some point, so I'm not too stressed about it being very like painterly. Like imagine like you're kind of just painting fur on almost in this darker color. Do, 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 do. Fur, yeah, but no, don't worry, it's gonna be a not too it's not gonna be like the koala the koala bear had very touchy fur very very touchy panda no stress okay no stress okay and then even here too like on the side like i'm following that circle his original head circle i'm gonna put a little bit of gray around this side of the schnoz schnoz schnout circle i think is what i was trying to say right so you can put a couple gray lines i'll bring it closer so you can see like how messy this is it's really no i say the same things every paint now you guys no rhyme or reason to these brush strokes we're just kind of looking at our picture and seeing where there's some shadow and we're going to just put some gray where that shadow belongs. Right, right, right. How's that? And with that same gray that we just used, we're going to go into these black body parts that we've made and we're going to add those highlights, right? So under his toe, at the base of his foot, we've got a little bit of gray. And we've got a little bit of gray in his arms here. And see again, like I'm just brushing it on lightly. It's not like one. Ooh, this is pretty light. You know what? Ignore that for a second. It's okay if you already did it like I did too. Um, we're going to make it a little bit darker. It's a little light. So in that same pile of gray you have here, if you're done all of these uh, gray spots that we added, the gray high, I mean the gray shadows. Doo -doo -doo. If you're done with that, we're going to go into our black and add a little touch more black into that gray that you made. Just so it's a little darker. Doo, 
that's I already like that a little bit better. So I'm going over that same spot. But right, we're not going into here. We're just going in across where the light would hit. So a little bit on this little top shoulder. It's so crazy how much lighter it is on the screen to you compared to what I'm seeing here. You can hardly see it at all on my... Uh, and right under his chesty here. And look, again, I'm just brushing it on. It's not a solid line. We're just tap tapping in some little furs. And same right here. Right? Do you see that subtle change of dark to a little bit of lighter? So it's not just one flat shape. We're adding a little bit of that keyword depth and dimension. Same on his little chin. Chin, that's not a chin, that's a knee. And on his little butt. On the outside. How is that? <laughs> and guess what? It's going to feel so redundant. But we are going to add more white, even more than we did before when we had this gray into this pile that we're making. We want a lighter gray. Do, do, do. I don't know what playlist we're listening to. I don't know if you can even hear the music. I don't see it on there, but... All right, so we've made a lighter gray. Not really. Okay, well, the music's not good anyway, so <laughs> maybe it's for the best that you can't hear it. Okay, we've got a lighter gray. Maybe I'll try to zoom in here and see if this... Okay, so see we've got his little belly and we've got all those just ugly brush strokes. We're doing the same thing with this lighter gray, but we want to show our work underneath right we don't want to cover all that dark gray that we did Ugh, it looks really blurry on there maybe the zoom isn't helpful i just want you to see how i'm just like roughly putting on the brush strokes we're not filling in all of the spots solid we want to just paint on those little hairs but again very messily same direction yeah i'm still being pretty conscious of the direction like think of which way his fur would go Looking cutie! Thank you, Lisa! Alright, do you see it kind of building up that texture in that belly? Right? It might look better from afar. I know Dresden brought back the cutie jar. Sweet angels. The QG jar I always feel so bad about because it just makes it feel like I'm making you guys give me props. <laughs> but I literally just say cutie all the time. We give this for cutie? Hey, you guys started it, but yes. How's that little belly coming along? Oh, he's dripping. Dresden, you never miss... You... You have given me plenty. Plenty, plenty. Okay, I'm still using this lighter gray and see how I'm kind of like, when we're talking about direction, like I'm following that little chicken leg. But I'm still painting little brush strokey. Glitched penguin. Hello, hello. We're doing great in here, how are you? Good to see you again. Fresh new look, right? Mm -mm -mm. I don't, 
I don't have a prop yet, but you know what? I gotta get on the inside and get a little t tasty prop in there. Busy week, but it's been good. Good to hear. Busy, busy. I feel y'all on the busy. Remember, we're still using that darker gray. Like, well, it's a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter gray as we're going through all these spots, but we're showing that dark gray that we put in. We're letting that peep through a little bit. We're doing the same old thing on his head. And again, you want to be brush strokey. Again, you can also like reshape those kidney beans if you want of his eyeballs. Remember that this isn't the last layer of value of gray we're doing. So we'll for sure be going in with a lighter gray on top of what we're even putting down now. So remember nothing's really permanent. I'm going through, I'm filling in this little panda head. Brush stroke, brush stroke, brush stroke. Use a little bit of water on your brush, but not too much water. You want it to go on pretty opaquely. But don't cover all your work. You want to be able to see some of those gray that you laid down, because then what's the point? You're just going to cover up everything that you've done already, right? So we want to see some of those grays popping through. A trust prop. Sorry, that was really delayed of me. Hey, like this as a prop that just like glows or something. Oh, we've got the sweet Jessica Bunny as well coming in with the fireworks. Hey, oh, hey, oh. It's a reunion, everybody, I tell ya. You've been watching but couldn't paint today. Cute panda. Hey, no worries. You're a mom now. You pro YouTube's probably going to be easier for you to do the paint nights, I imagine. Babies take up everybody's time. Don't those little jerks. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not calling your babies jerks. But uh, that's what we're seeing. Probably will take me three days to finish painting. See, exactly. And that's fine. That's what the YouTube's for. Love to see it. Peanut gallery is strong today, y'all. Makes me happy. Okay, so we've got our little panda bear. Basically filled in with some grace, right? And we still have that gray on our brush. And we're gonna do a little bit of definition in some of these extra spots here. Like in his ear, we're just gonna do a little C. Right, just a little curve. It's not a C actually. Yeah, it is, it's a C. And that's a little light. You might wanna make your gray a little darker than that. And same on the other side. We're gonna make it just a little C. Do we see him kind of coming to life a little bit? Still a little messy, but still coming along. And remember, nothing's permanent. So if when you were doing the white or the gray that we were working on and you covered up some of this kidney bean, like you can go back over top of it if you want, right? So like nothing's permanent. Don't panic if you've covered over something or if you don't like the shape of something. Everything is tweakable, changeable, addable fixable, whatever you want to say, All right? Something's on this paintbrush, weird. All right, so as we're going through, table, good one, Justin. It's a fluid situation, 9,000%. And remember, when it comes to detail, you can get as detailed as you want, right? So, like, we can bring in 
some of this lighter gray that we did with the smaller brush and we can just bring a couple little hair strokes just a couple over top of those already lighter runs right we went in with black then we went in with a darker gray and now i'm going in if you want again everybody's um detail level can depend on you you don't have to do every step if you don't want to but right you can come in with this a little bit lighter gray and do some little light strokes on top of some of the areas that you went in with just again to add that much more detail that much more what's the word I'm thinking for that do, do, do. just detail right but then there's some artists who don't do any detail they work just in flat color and that's great too right so everybody does it different but the step that I'm doing right now, if you want to do it, is just adding a couple little strokes of hair of lighter colors in the areas that we've already went in with a little bit of a lighter gray. But just like I always say, you don't want to cover up all your work. You want to just add a little bit of this highlighted gray on those spots. All right? Panda, 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 panda. Okay. Wow, we've got a lot of that laid out. How are we doing? Am I going too fast? Are we still blotting some hair on? Are we ready to go in with white on top of all those little furs that we were just doing? This has been an absolute panic, Shh, yes, right. In the last 25 minutes, how has it gone? Has he, has it helped a little? Have you figured it out a little bit? Have I went too fast? It's supposed to be a nice relaxing paint night. You're just like in a marathon. <laughs> we are gonna be going right to white. This is pure white, so you want to wash off those brush brushes. Oh, tender bear. Fantastic Thursday evening to everyone. A thousand percent. Good to see ya. We're just painting pandas. Cutie little pandas. Oh, my body's broken. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going into our pure white, everybody. I'm gonna use whatever another pointed brush, kind of the same as the one I was using at the start. And I'm gonna go into my white, and I want a little bit of water on my brush. It's okay if it's a little bit more translucent. And guess what? We're going to do the same thing, but we're going just in the spots that we want to be highlighted lighter, right? So we're going into his belly. And let's just start making some of these little white strokes. But again, you want to see that gray underneath because you want to see all of that work we did and just to show that there's like different layers of that fur. Do you see already how much that like just bumped that part up? Right, so we've got a little bit of water on our brush. And like if you want to make your bear chubby or like with a bigger belly, like with white on your brush, you just paint over top the leg you already have. Again, remember like see how I'm doing it directionally, like it's kind of all following that belly. I'm gonna leave it dark under his palm, his hand there, cause that's where a shadow is. We're gonna leave it dark in this chest plate cause that's just how the shadows work. Water will help you a lot when you're pulling this paint across. Let's see him kind of developing up a little bit. And again, the fur can be very casual. Like, I'll, 
I'll show you it close in a second here. Mine's so fluffy. Okay, love that. No, it's just going to blind it out for you. You can kind of see when I put it to the side, but it, it's not as white here. Oops. It's annoying. Maybe on here. See how the brush strokes are quite messy, right? Like they're not precious. Because you're not treating them precious, right? Rule number three. Get those belly hairs in there. And on his little fupa down here. <laughs> that's what I called it in the class. <laughs> See, that's, that's why we're plus 17 today. Can't say things like that. <laughs> Justin just puts like <laughs> a gravestone. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. He's just got a cute little belly. <laughs> Silly Wabbit, thanks for the follow. All right, we're going into his face now, and it's same thing. Like, if you start with the pure white, we're going to go straight up his little forehead. All right, but again, showing some of your work. RIP to the momager. <laughs> I have an unpredictable mouth, you guys. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> We're gonna fill in this schnoz of his. Better get the up drips ready. Um, are you saying Ilum is here right now? Ilum. It's a Christmas miracle. Ah! With a little pooty, you need a boot. Ilum, Ilum, Ilum. We're back, baby. Kind of. Once every two weeks, we're back, okay? Good to see you. We shouted you out. We shouted you out last Thursday. Because we were up dripping. Putin Uni gives me a hard Canadian accent. <laughs> the bean science and the up drips have been real. They came back with a force. A force of nature. You are moving. Oh, sorry to hear. Happy and sorry. I just know moving is just usually stressful for everybody. But maybe exciting that you move somewhere cool. I don't know. Remember, I'm going through you painters and I'm just dab, dab, dab in some of that pure white onto our little pandas. And again, I'm just looking at the reference photo and I'm seeing where things are lighter. And that's where I dab, dab all the white on. Illa, move to LA. Bougie. Bougie, bougie, bougie. Jealous. All right, we're still going through and we're just fanning out some furs. You love it so far? Okay, love to hear it. I've always enjoyed LA whenever I've visited. How's the weather? Is it nice and warm? It's been cold here. Panda, panda, panda. Okay, okay, okay. Remember, the more water you add to your paint, the more translucent your paint will be. What is weather? That's fair. That's fair. How is that? We've left a little chin in there. Panda, 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 panda. Also, when we have the white on our brush, it's going to look weird and the bear's going to look wild for a minute, but we're doing a big white circle. 
Later when it's dry, we're gonna paint a smaller black circle in that white spot. And it's easier than doing like a nice white outline around a black circle. So we're kind of painting it backwards, but bear with me. So we've got a big white circle and another big white circle, but a little bit smaller on the right hand side because basically the whole time, anytime we've done something on the right hand side, it's been a little smaller, hey? Just for our force perspective. <laughs> Things that are farther away from you are smaller, okay? See, it's a little bit bigger, smaller. So the average for most of SoCal is 72 Fahrenheit or 22 Celsius. Love that you've added the Celsius in there for us. Canadians. Yeah, an average of 22, hey? What's our average? Seven. <laughs> an average of seven degrees. All righty. We've got our fluffy little panda bears. You put your sweatpants away and you bust it out the shorts. Okay, can't relate. Can't relate. Wish I could relate. Can't relate. Okay, little panda. Okay, okay. So, while we let that white dry, Let's add a touch of black to a pile of white. We want it to be a little gray. This is me forgetting to tell you guys to do this earlier, but that's fine. It's good now that we're letting it dry. We just got a little bit of a lighter gray. We got to paint their little claws, okay? How many do they have? One, two, three, four, five, okay. Five. And see how it's a little bit lighter than that bottom pad that we did and how they start on the black part of the leg and go over that little pad. Um, who's no name? What is he? What type of animal is no name? How is no name handling the heat? No name. My dog sized cat. Oh my gosh. I'm intrigued. We're going up to this little panda paw here. One little small one, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, back to small, back to small. And why is he named No Name? Why is his name No Name? Or is his name Cat? Ooh, I made these ones look like human nails. Let's make them a little bit longer. They're supposed to be sharper. When I adopted him, he hid for a long time, so I couldn't give him a name. Aww. No name. I love that. No name's like, what is this LA? Madness. Just needs some time. Oh, eight months. Oh, long time, long time. Oh, I always admire owners who can, um give all the love when the pets can't love you back because it's hard when your little pet doesn't love you okay how are our pandas looking everybody while we have that lighter gray on our brush, actually, again, details, depending on how much detail you want to go into, it's something you don't have to do. But that same gray that we were just using with a little baby brush, we can go into the black, just a couple little wisps around the edge. All right? 
same on his leg, right? You can go into the black just a little bit just to show that fur change so it's not a sharp, sharp line. Is Rosie around? Does Ilum asked? She, not today. Um, oh my gosh, I should tell them to come back. It's at an earlier time too, so it might even be better for them. Um, I know that they moved. They're a little busier, but you know what? We do got to get a little sweet Rosie back in here. And Justin was asking if anybody else is streaming as well, or is Nico getting all the goods? All the goods. Right now, I'm still doing that same thing, just bringing some of these little hairs over the black, just to make them look a little fuzzier. Couldn't figure out time to stream. No worries. You saw how long it took me to figure out how to stream as myself. <laughs> Righty then. That's true. It is way easier that you can do it from your phone now. That is a dream and a half. Okay. Our whites should be dry enough. If they're not, you can hang back a little bit. Let's, uh, where's my mouse? Can't participate tonight because your internet's down, but you just wanted to say hi. Sweet, sweet Sid. Sorry to hear about your internet. That's always the worst, but thank you for stopping by to say hi. Moonshine, that's a great painting. A uh, thank you. You could. I'm teaching you guys how to do it. You could be painting along too if you want. I see it's so blurry when I do the zoom one. It's blurry, blurry. Dresden asked if a hair dryer could help dry the paint. Uh, yes, sirree, Bob. A thousand percent, you can blow dry it if it's as long as it's not super, super wet. If it's like wet, that like when you move the canvas, the paint goes around. Um, wait a little bit. But if it's like thick paint like we've been using, blow dry the heck out of it, 100%. Moonshot, I suck at painting and drawing. Always wish you could, though. Well, you stumbled across the right place. You have to go to my YouTube. It's Tay Tay Ski. Wherever there's Tay Tay Ski around here. Tay Tay Ski. On YouTube, on Instagram. Um, those are... And I have tutorials of how to do all those things. Yeah, who here didn't paint before I taught ya? I don't know if there's any, those, we'll see if they're here. And I do have the paper wall. One day, Ilum, I'll go live on my phone so I can show you guys the new space. It's pretty cool. The flower wall has survived, for sure. Yeah, so, I, this is, I'm not at home anymore. Kenzie has a store in the front and in the back is my full studio and streaming and everything space. So I don't work from home anymore, which is wild. That's where I've been. That was my maybe studio tour when we do our show. Yep, yep, yep. End of month. I'll do a, tu a studio tour for sure. Okay, you painters, let's get this face. It's a little blurry when I zoom in, but I think it's better than being that far away. Um, uh, we've got a panda and we're going to make its cute little nose. Okay. We've already have that triangle there, right? The triangle that we started with. And just to make it a little more panda-esque, we literally are just going to do a line out the top. Right outside of that triangle. Just two lines on the outside. And curve the line from both of those bumps that you made outside of the triangle. Does that make sense? And from there, we're going to make a line straight down. I'm going to say it one more time just to remember, right? It's not perfectly in the middle of the circle. We're a little bit on over to the side, just a little bit. I'm using a smaller brush. I've got a little bit of water on my brush. Not a lot, just a little. All 
Alright, super easy. Oh, Moonshine, I make it as easy as you can. No need to. And we're going to just put a little light gray line in the middle, and it's going to be done like dinner. Okay, and from there, let's go just a line straight across. But remember, not perfectly across. We're at still at this little angle. See how everything's at an angle, not straight. Same with his mouth. It's a little bit of an angle. The bean paper that Justin's talking about is this guy here. Wait, which camera should I show you at? That's how we started our panda. Just some circles. Just a couple beans. Oh, someone else just gave me another follow. Thank you, sweet little angels. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Bean science. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so right now our panda looks sad, and we don't want that. We want him to be happy and cutie, okay? So we're going to bring it up on the sides a little bit, right? Same on this side. Let's just bring it up a little bit. Just a little bit of a smile. You can even put a little line at the back if you want, like classic cartoon smile. And when you get to the center, we're just going to curve. See how there's not a huge difference to it, but instead of a line with a straight line, I've curved these two lines underneath it. Right? You can even put a little line under his chin if you want. Remember, it can be brush strokey too. Whatever works. Sid coming in with ice cream cone. Using data and giving me props. You sweet, sweet soul. Oh, and stacking like Pringles. Love your username. Thanks for the follow. And thanks for the props. Okay, so we've got, now that we're here, those little white circles that we made for his eyes that are hilariously scary right now. We're going to go in with this little brush. And we're going to paint a black circle on the inside. So see how it almost like made an outline? Like instead of having to paint that really thin white outline around the eyeball, we're just kind of doing it backwards, right? Like we're, yeah, we're doing it backwards. We don't have to paint the outline. We're just uh, painting in side the white circle. This is an amazing stream. Glad you found it. Thank you. Stacking like Pringles. We're glad you found it too. Welcome to the fam. We're usually every Thursday, but now it's going to be every other, other Thursday. It's not as confident as like, see you every Thursday anymore. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> okay. Every second Thursday. Okay. Every second Thursday. And remember, nothing's permanent, so you still have got this little bit of black on your brush. You can, like, make his little eye beans fuzzy if you want. Um, I wish I could be organized enough to tell you that, answer that question, Ilum. Um, I started with the intention of being every Thursday. This is my third Thursday in a row back. But I'm still just not fully prepared to do it every Thursday. I'm just a little behind in my life, obviously. Story of my life. Um, so I will be updating y'all about when the next ones can be. Um, will this be on YouTube after? Always. Sydney, always. I will put them on YouTube every time. To stack and like Pringles, that's for you too. Um, they're all on YouTube. There's like 80 of them on YouTube now. And, um, 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 what else was I saying? Now Caffeine also has the replays on Caffeine itself, too, which is awesome. That's a new feature. But no, always planning to have them on YouTube. On demand on the mobile app. Heck yeah, Momager, thank you. Okay, you little pandas. So we basically got most of what we need done on the panda. Except for little detail things like... 
grabbing some of that gray that you started and just doing a nice little line right across his little schnoz. Oops. Yeah, just do it on the top. Ignore what I just did there. You can even put some of that darker gray under his lip if you want. Let's zoom in again and see if you guys can see the difference. Right, just a little bit of gray under his little cutie lip. If you want. This is what I said to ignore. Didn't mean to put the lighter gray there. Oh. Right. And like detail wise too, right? You can go with pure white on your brush and just add a little touch of pure white to the end of all those little nails. Like a little highlight line if you want to. Oops, my guy's ear looks like it's not attached to his head. That's a problem, though. People painting along, are there anything else? Like, what, how are we looking right now before we get to backgrounds and details? How do we feel? Bubsy's gotta go. Nice. Oh, I just, as I read that, um, you're gonna come to Chroma Club soon. Excited to see it. Excited for you to see it. Nikki's loving her panda so far. Excellent. And again, I know like some of the steps just like seem so redundant after a while when it's like, oh, paint the circle white. Now paint a smaller black circle. And now put just a white dot in the middle of it because you know how I feel about that little highlight in an animal's eye or any character's eye when you put a little dot in their eyeball i don't know why but they just get so cute so cute right 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 I think that's about it. About it. When it comes to the panda himself, right? Is anyone facing any issues? I'm just cleaning up some of my lines in here. zoned out. Forgot I was teaching you guys how to paint. You missed the whole face so that nonsense is wacky. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. In the picture, in the picture you took, could you see the shapies? Let me see, let me see if. The perspective's off and it's throwing you. Hmm, send me a picture of it. Send me a picture. And then remember, like, again, whenever I say nothing's permanent, right? Because, like, oh, if you want to make his foot a little chubbier, you can. If you think that this arm's too thick, you can bring your white paint and cover some of those angles that you don't like. I'm trying to look at it and see what I did weird. And depending on what you want to do for a background, some people might want to do a outline, some people might not want to. 
if you wanted to do an outline i would suggest doing like a painterly like a hairy outline like it's not a solid line it is like you're painting on those little hairs i'll bring it close but if we're going to do a background which we will but if you some people don't like backgrounds like me um you could paint up to your bear, so then you don't really have to paint an outline because your colored background will go where the outline should be and you don't need one. Alrighty. How's that little cutie panda? So cutie, Oprah of Props learned what cutie was today. <laughs> I love it. Oops. I feel like my perspective is off too, Cinderella. No stress there. He's got just a little bit of a lumpy head, but he's very cutie. I think what's bothering me, just if I'm going to be picky, is I think he just needs to come out on this side a little bit more. Just a little bit. I don't know. All right. Now let's do a little backgroundy on this one. I'm going to use the same color that I use at the bottom, which is blue. My water is a little mucky, but we're going for it. I'm going to get a bigger brush, whether it's like a square brush, a bigger squared brush. Maybe something like this. And when I do my backgrounds, I like to get my paint nice and watery, a little bit less watery than our chocolate milk at the start. But you can kind of go on to your canvas and just kind of start messily throwing some paint around. Coming close to, but not touching my little panda. And like, I'm gonna go right, like with my brush right now, right into the water and come right back on to kind of pull the paint that we put on there around. Do I take painting suggestions for future episodes? Oh, heck yeah, I do. What are you thinking? What would you like to paint? As long as it's not something we've already done before, I have a long list of things. Dresden's out of here. Thank you, Dresden. Always good to see ya. I know Cinderella wants to do skulls. So I've done skulls. So before I started recording these live paint nights, there was a f more than a few that we did that I just didn't record them. Um, I didn't have the facilities to do that. And the skulls, we did skulls twice. I'm just telling you that it didn't, they, it never went well. <laughs> it never went well because it's like, we can try. We can try. It's just they're a little more difficult than it's like a portrait, basically. Third time's a charm. Hey, I love your. I love the. I love the positivity. I love the optimism. Like we're we talking like a rainbow skull. Is it because you're problematic? <laughs> yeah, doing skulls is so problematic. I'm talking about up drips, you guys. You can spin her on around and do the same thing with your watery paint. But let her drip from this side. Ilum's here for the up drips. Living for the up drips. <laughs> okay, who's the Oprah props? Is it Ilum?
See how it's just like a messy, unplanned, textured, kind of like tie-dye-ish background? You can add other colors in there too if you want and like blend them together with that watery consistency. My water is really dirty, so it's kind of coming out like gray blue, which isn't the prettiest, but we're going for it. Cause I'm kind of locked in here pretty tight. My cat, <laughs> there's cords everywhere. I trip over them often. Look at that little cutie. I'm probably gonna do the same thing with that like watered down paint texture, but I'm gonna do it with just black underneath him like he has a shadow. But again, the more water, the more translucent, the paint's gonna dry. But again, see, it's like very messy. How about them apples? That's cute, that's cute. Ooh, glitter. Oh. Okay, Nikki, 100%. I never brought glitter over here like some jerk. But Nikki's right, you guys. Glitter is a good time. Like, if you have your painting flat when it's wet like this, sprinkle some glitter on it. Magic. Magic! And look, this is just me showing you that nothing's permanent and you can fix things till the end of time. Maybe I want his leg to be a little bit thicker. I just want him chubbier. So I just bump that up a little bit. Nothing to see here, folks. Do, do, do. There's got to be glitter residue on something around you. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. The table I'm working on. Actually, this easel is filled with glitter. You're not wrong. That's hilarious. How are we feeling, painters, about our little panda? Emergency glitter. I'm sure I've inhaled so much glitter too. Much glitter. Because I keep going like smaller and smaller, like refined, more refined glitters and it's getting everywhere. Oh my goodness. We've got a drip right through the panda's head. Get that out of there. Are we happy with our little pandas? How do we feel about them? He looks pretty cutie. I think that's it, that's all. Mm. I think I made his head ginormous, but I think that is a common occurrence for me. I think I make their heads big often. got important text messages okay I'm just gonna since you painters aren't talking back to me I know that you're still paint paint in a way do, do, do. picture sent love it okay let me see here let me see here <laughs> Where am I going? How do I do this again? I go 
here. Right. Oh, some of you have already seen it goes because he's live streaming it. Oh, oops. Let me get this out of here. I don't need that right now. Look at that fuzzy cutie. So cute. Oh, you're right. How you super fuzzy. Love, love the background. Love, love, love. He looks so happy. So happy. I'm going to wait on here until... I'm going to keep it on Nikki's because... How cute and happy. I'm assuming... Like, I know there's a couple other you, but I, I always hate rushing you. Ha! Oh, like, I'm going to have to look in here, too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And for those of you not sure, people are DMing me their, um... There are final photos into Instagram. My Instagram is Taytayski as well as my username is on here. Taytayski across the board. We'll wait over here for now. Oh. Okay. Here is... Okay, but like I rush mine and my painting reflects that, but it's so good. What are you talking about? You bounced back. Look how cutie. Oh my God. So cutie. Yeah, you're like an, almost an hour late and look what you've created. Oh, he's so cute. You had to paint over another canvas. Oh my goodness. So cute. I love Panda Night. Same. Uh, shame. I'm waiting for Nico. We'll come back after. I'll get this out of the way. So that stuff's going up. Um, I feel like mine's a little like my perspective was more often yours was Ellie. I think yours. He's looking. Wait. Yeah, he's just looking more left. That's all. Speed painting here for it. Hey, that it makes you let go of the little things. Right? Nico, we're waiting for you. The time is now. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I can do the thumbnail while we wait. I can do the thumbnail while we wait. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do, do, do. I obviously have to be a panda, I imagine. Like we said, Photoshop has ruined the excitement. I just have to be over here and I have to be cute. A cute little panda. Wait, how do I get him in there? Hair buns for ears. Oh my God, that would be... If I had a ponytail, that would be... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. Why do I keep painting clothes that I don't want paint on? Can somebody tell me why that happens. Yours was an epic fail. You were way too much in your head and you usually let it go. Jedi? I'm sure it is better than you think think it was. I can't imagine it being a fail. Hey, it was your first live. We got a different vibe today, but I'm sure it wasn't a fail. You know what you're doing. I rushed ya. We rushed ya. Warning, do not pose with wet paintings a thousand percent. I'm just like, <laughs> should I just pretend that these are my ears? <laughs> I need to just wipe this off, but we can do this again. Yep, yep, yep. And then I just have to be a panda over here. Mao, a piece of bamboo. Respect. 
I should do that for sure. That's me with a bamboo in my hand. In my panda hand. <laughs> so it could be other things. That could be other things. I love how like editing the thumbnail of my YouTube video is like the most difficult part. <laughs> it takes me like longer than it takes for me to prepare for this paint night. <laughs> well, we've got the panda folks. I hope. Y'all from my paint class, I hope we got all the tips that you needed. Can't rush art. 50-50. You can and you can't. We're happy to have you anyway, Jedi, even though it didn't work out for you as well today. Always love having y'all with us in the live. Thanks for all the props, everybody. Dan sneaking in with the props. Thanks, guys. Oh my gosh, of course we've got it. Oh my goodness. You guys. Look at this little cutie. So fuzzy. See what I was talking about? Where you could put other colors in the background. Nico did. Poon Uni. You guys are spoiling me in the comments today. Two poo unis. What tarnation? Oh my gosh, Cinderella! I've never seen that one. <laughs> Illo, I'm so happy I'm back. It's good to be back. So happy to see all y'all again too. Ah, little guy. So happy to see all you too. Like we said, we're just a little fam every Thursday, going strong. I loved that about us. Unfortunately, I'm not organized. Okay, let me, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we should discuss that. We should discuss that before I leave you. The next Thursday. Oh yeah, on the 24th, right? It's the 24th we're talking, right, Justin? Justin is on stream. I'm going to put on there. We're going to have a games night too at the end of the month, you guys. Let me post. On Monday, I will post a schedule. I know that's annoying of me, but um, I can't decide this second. <laughs> uh, are your phone cases just iPhone or have you expanded? Um, they can, if you message Case Mogul, they will make it for whatever phone you have. They said anybody who doesn't have an iPhone, they just have to message them about it. But they can do it, as far as I'm aware. Case Mobile, yep, 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 yep. Um, they, I, they should be tagged in my posts and stuff about it too. But they said, yes, yeah, send them a message and they will make whatever you need. Cinderella is talking, <laughs> thank you, about these phone cases i've partnered with case mogul to put some of my paintings as a phone case super cool this is one of seven i think i should know that one of seven of the cases this one's my favorite and then we have a plant one. Oh my god did i say mobile <laughs> the worst influencer of all time case mogul case mogul Don't tell him I said that. Um, yeah, I read Case Mobile and it just sounded right. Case Mogul. I've tagged them in my stuff. <laughs> oh, but Cinderella said it and then I said it. You said it and I believed you and I just went with it. <laughs> They're a Canadian company. Lovely to work with. The cases are actually great quality. I was very impressed. Um, they fill the tops and the bottoms. Your phone's in there nice and shape. I drop my phone 40 million times a day and it's holding out strong, so I love it. Okay, fam, you're the best, especially some of you new faces too. Great to meet you. This was quick today. We were done before the two hours was up. Would you look at that? Well, thanks again, everybody. Quicker for some of us. 
<laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. I'll post about it. I'll post about it so that we won't miss the next one. I just can't stop touching my hair today for some reason. I'm wild and out. Um, have a great night, everybody. Here, I'll see if Ilum's still here. I'll see if you guys, I can kind of try to show you the studio a little bit. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, but let's go to this mode. Can you see? There's my like packing and shipping area. There's um, where I paint on that big wall over there. It's kind of hard to see, but there's like my big work desk in the middle. And then I don't know if I can do it. Oh, you can see, but there's like a Tatey neon sign with the flowers and a pink couch because I painted that. Yeah, the flower wall. Heck yeah. And then I painted that couch pink. There's a bunch of pictures of me. My birthday portraits are all over there that I paint. And then through the pink door is the shop. Exactly. Yeah, on that side is the store. And yeah, that's where I paint everything on that wall. That's a really huge painting. It's kind of taken over the world over there. But um... And then this is just my little like streaming corner that I made in the back here. Do, do, do. Oh, where's my... Yeah, so much space for activities. Yes, exactly. This is where I have to roller skate now too because uh, we can. There's not room in our new house, but uh, I've earned that whole thing. Congrats, thanks, and really, it is pretty crazy, guys. I worked from home for seven years, and then now we're just in this real studio, which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, it's been a journey. That's why I've been missing for the last six months, you guys, is because um, I've been like setting up this space. Dan and I bought a home. We're setting up that space. Um, just figuring out my life. <laughs> like Dresden said, adulting can be hard, okay? But uh, yeah, one stream. We're gonna do a game stream on the next couple days here. Moving house, moving studio, got engaged, two series. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's been a journey. I know, and I'm not wearing my ring. I have to get it fixed. I broke it like an idiot. Um, while I paint on the wall, is it better? Uh, Preference-wise, um, not necessarily better. I made that, well, Dan, uh, made that easel wall because I can hang multiple paintings on it at a time um, and work on bigger pieces at a time. And like, they're always flat. And I, I like them being flat against the wall. It's not... It's basically like having a bunch of easels side by side each other. So it's nice to be able to have that like room to play with. Um, have I gone paint on the ring? A thousand percent. <laughs> but that's why it's broken. I broke it. But um, there'll be paint on it till I die. It's got to have paint on it or it's not me. Right? Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's a, The wall is a preference. I just like that I can work on multiple things at a time on there. And then, like, I just screw some new screws in there to, like, put a painting in a different spot. So it's kind of cool. I don't know. I like it. But, um, yeah, family. We'll see you soon. Not next week, but the week after that. Okay? Thanks for everything. Catch you on the flip side. Whenever that day will be, I'll put it down here. I promise. Okay? Bye, everybody.